All right, so today we're gonna to make IPMO, liquid IPMO for application, and go over application rates and how this all works. So, first off, you can see here we got our batch brewing. We'll go over how uh, we, we created that. So, you can see here we have a nice drum. You could use a five gallon bucket if you're doing smaller batches. We need bigger batches here, so this is what we use. We just have a piece of bamboo or stick, whatever you want to put on top uh, to hold it up. Took a little piece of pl uh, plastic. You could alternatively use your you know, grocery store bag um, and the handle uh, to hold the top of your bag. Again, if you're on the cheap, um, you can definitely do that. Uh, and then we have a big paint strainer here. Well, it's like a paint strainer. But basically we took um, two cups of the IPMO to make a bigger batch here. Um, you could use one cup or half a cup if you're doing a five gallon bucket. One cup for a bigger dose, half a cup for you know a maintenance dose. Um, but I would definitely use one cup if you're um, applying for treating like a bad outbreak. You know, go a little on the heavier side. You're not, it's not like it's gonna hurt anything. Um, all right, so we have our two scoops of IPMO that's sitting inside the bag. And then we went ahead and put two airlines uh, that have a little uh, uh, thing of fission weights on the end. Um, it's like a little stone, it's not the lead ones, don't worry. <laughs> um, but uh, uh, that, that's inside of there to hold those down at the very bottom. Um, and all that does is allow the, that keeps that moving. So if you look here, if you look, you can see that the IPMO inside is it's bubbling around pretty hardcore. That's what you want. You want all those things moving inside the bag and outside the bag. So you can see here we have air stones all the way around. Um, you don't have to have as many as I have. We happen to have a big giant uh, pump because we want to do multiple buckets at once. So um, we just kind of threw them all in there just as overkill. Um, but um, uh, yeah, so you can see here, uh, this has all been brewing. So you want to brew this for uh, 24 hours overnight. Uh, we set this up here you know, maybe two hours ago. So this will brew up overnight and then we'll go ahead and use this tomorrow. Um, and then what you want to do is you want to use um, for, for this stuff, you want to go ahead and use about a gallon per five gallons of your application. So, you know, a fifth of whatever it is that you're making um, uh, for your total sprays on the upper end. And on the lower end, you can use it as low as, you know, an eighth, an eighth or a tenth for a maintenance spray. But say you had aphids, you have grasshoppers, you have something else, you know, you can use it up to a fifth of the water uh, for your application uh, if you really want to go balls to the wall and, and get rid of a bug problem. And you can see here, all we did was just to show you, we took two cups of this and scooped it out. This is our IPMO. And once it's stabilized, you can see it looks very similar to IMO, just a little darker. So we took two scoops of this into the bag and then floated it, aerated it for 24 hours. And then we'll go ahead and apply this again in tomorrow morning. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll be back again soon. Just wanted to kind of break that down. Uh, one other question I got quite a bit is, um, what does this work for? And I wanted to mention that in this video as well. As so we've had really good luck, I've personally had luck with it with blister beetles, Japanese beetles, uh, grasshoppers, crickets, leaf hoppers. Um, Chris Trump has had really good luck with it with stink bugs and scale and weevils and some beetles uh, on his side. I'm sure he has other stuff as well, but that's the stuff that we've talked about. Um, so. Um, be sure to um, uh, check those out and you know think about it more for application for larger insects they're typically harder to treat you know if it's stuff that's normally doesn't respond to Isteria fumisteraceae or um, Bavaria bassiana or any of the other you know normal organic sprays um, this is going to be a really good alternative for uh, dealing with those types of insects that are a little bit larger and harder to deal with, uh, you know, and not always, you know, you don't always have a good option is kind of how this came to be was, was fighting grasshoppers in Zimbabwe. So, um, you know, thanks to Chris Trump uh, and his discoveries with the weevils, this, this allowed me to have a lot of success over there. And, and be sure to check out Chris Trump's YouTube channel as well. He's the one that invented this. Uh, all credit goes to Chris. Um, and um, yeah. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you guys again soon. If you have any other questions, we will be doing a part three. We're going to do some applications uh, where we uh, apply it up, not only on the plant so you guys can see how that works, but also um, I want to capture some insects here and just throw them in mason jars and spray them and you know absorb them over a couple of days with some you know plant material in there to keep them fed. Um, so I think that would be a fun thing as well for YouTube content and for you guys to you know kind of see what it does uh, to the insects. So. Alright guys, we'll be back again soon. Thanks a lot. Hit the like and subscribe, and we'll catch you guys again soon.